Times are tough for renters as many struggle with that monthly payment. Well, when one family says their landlord may have broken the law, what did they do? They did the right thing because they turned to our I team and Randy Mack for help. And here's Randy right now. Randy? Yeah, Chuck, the family says that the landlord used uh, uh, sort of a trick to sidestep state, state law, and that actually put them on the hook for hundreds of dollars. When Marina Pantalieva's landlord, Irvine Company, hiked her family's rent, she made the difficult decision to move. It was not easy for the kids to move and change the schools, of course. Marina asked Irvine Company for a move-out walkthrough, a renter's right, per state law. It allows the landlord to point out any damage, giving the tenant a chance to fix it. But Irvine Company canceled the walkthrough, citing the stay-at-home order. So Marina took pictures of the apartment after her family moved out and expected to get back her $700 security deposit. We have the photos, we sent it to them. They should be satisfied with the you know, condition of the apartment, that there is no damage whatsoever. But Irvine Company disagreed. It sent Marina a $1,500 repair bill along with pictures of her carpet, saying it needed to be replaced. Marina struggled to see the damage her landlord claimed was there. She disputed the bill, but got nowhere. Marina felt Irvine Company had no right to charge her since she'd given up her right to an inspection. To me, logically, okay, if we were not present, you refused the move out inspection in our presence, which is our legal right, then all the arguments after that should be null and void. Security deposits are the single most common reason there's a conflict between the landlord and the tenant. Tenants rights advocate Elena Pop thinks a judge would side with Marina because bottom line, she says Irvine Company broke the law. I think that that inspection could have been done safely. The way you do an inspection safely is both sides glove up and mask up. They stay six to nine feet apart from each other. The person who's visiting doesn't touch anything. That's a safe interaction, and there's no reason that shouldn't have happened. But Irvine Company appears to disagree. It didn't provide a comment for this story. Instead, it asked the California Apartment Association, a landlord trade group, to reach out. It said Irvine Company's modified move-out inspection is consistent with applicable law. However, Irvine Company did drop all of Marina's charges, minus a cleaning fee, which she thinks is reasonable. Marina offers this advice to tenants who are moving out during this tricky time. Put your foot down. Demand the move-out inspection, no matter what. And remember that a landlord has 21 days to either return your deposit to you or give you an accounting for any damages. Reporting live in Chino Hills, Randy Mack for NBC4 News. All right, Randy.